welcome back to my channel guys hi guys um if you're old here yeah, thank you for always sticking by and if you're new thank you for clicking on this video and this tutorial is just about making vegetable soup or let's just call it edikaiko soup whichever one you want to call it let's get right into this tutorial do you like this yumminess that you see this color this flavor let's just get right into this video guys <music> So first up, we're going to be prepping our vegetable soup like, you know, you have to rinse it. So what I do is I rinse it about three to four times just because there might be sand or stuff from the market. And same I do to my water leaf. As you can see, I wash it about three to four times just to take out the sand and depths that can be in it. So first I heated up my palm oil and I go ahead to add my onions. Guys onions is like a base to your soup it gives this that flavor yes that flavor so i like the onions to fry a bit in the palm oil and you know it infuses its own flavor into that palm oil and we just start like that's like the beginning of everything so i have this mixture of um, red bell pepper and habanero that i already cooked um, i blended and cooked it and stored it in the freezer and which is easy for you to just take anytime you want to use and because you don't need tomato in this mixture, you do not less of water content. You need that habanero and real bell pepper. Some people call it atarodo and bawa or shombo. So we just add it not too much, just enough for the content. The because I'm going to do about eight sevens, like about it's going to take the whole amount is going to go for like about eight sevens. That's like eating it eight times eight people there about so i allow it to fry in the palm oil allow the pepper to fry add my seasoning powder i you know put in my seasoning powder then i go ahead i already boiled my stock fish at the side so i go ahead to i use the mixture of the flesh and the head part of the stock fish so i drain out the water by sieving it out by the side of the pot then add it into because we don't want so much water in this um stew or soup that we're making because already there's going to be so i just added about a spoonful of that um of stockfish water because stockfish water also adds a, a nice flavor to your soup so i go ahead to just stir it up and you know because we're going to add water leaf later on water leaf has a very high moisture content water content so we don't want to add too much water into this soup so i go ahead to add i'm going to add crabs yes crabs if you don't have crabs you can skip that process i added meat already you can see beef and goat meat in it so i'm adding that's because it's not one person that's eating this food so i'm adding crabs to it because i was able to get crabs yesterday and um by the side of the uh, at, <laughs> very close to the house and um, so if you don't have crabs you don't have to put crabs um in your food in this um, soup that we are cooking you can just make do with the beef or goat meat or turkey that you have at home yeah i have my turkey already cooked and i preserved it in the freezer so i go ahead to add it to it guys this food is gonna be yummy but use whatever beef stir um beef um chicken or i wouldn't advise chicken because i don't know that's my preference um but go ahead to add whatever meat you want to add but don't forget to add stockfish then i go ahead to add crayfish <clears throat> crayfish that crayfish has its own it, and it contains iron so good for your children good for you as an adult anyone you want to but crayfish is crayfish has its own flavor that sea flavor that you know to your food if you don't like crayfish if you don't like seeing crayfish in your food just blend your crayfish then add the powder to your to your soup guys you're going to love it like try it you you will not regret what i mean so this is our you know the old crab turkey meat beef bube, bube, inside this thing so i allow it to simmer for about two minutes two to three minutes i want that pepper to cook and i want it to you know infuse its flavor into the meat and i want the meat to infuse you know i want everything to just go party pass through inside each other so after two to three minutes i go ahead to add my water leaf water leaf first and that's what i'm doing right now so i learned this from my mom and it's still helping me till now and kudos to her 
so it's just an easy peasy way to make your vegetable soup and then i allow this to cook for about two minutes yes so that you know when you cook, when you buy water leaf it rises so much and you feel that oh this thing is so much it's not going to be much oh, because it's going to you can see water you can see water the water leaf has released this water content into that soup that's why i said you don't need to add water to this soup because water leaf is a has its own great water content which is still going to release it into the soup you see you see what i mean so less water for this soup less less water water is it like a no no so i go ahead to add my vegetable <laughs> did i say vegetable my what my uh, pumpkin leaf also known as ugo i go ahead to add it to this mix so that they can commingle they can make friends you know see how they are making friends so i mix them all up together don't mind me i'm just funny like that and you know this is what it looks like guys i let it simmer for about a minute because i love the crunchiness of the vegetable and i wouldn't want to lose all the nutrients that it entails or it contains so after sim after making it to simmer for about a minute this is our outcome guys just go and bring your fufu, eba, semu, wheat, anyone, and come and enjoy this pleasurable soup. I hope you've learned a thing or two from this soup, from cooking this, or from watching this video. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel to join my happy family. And I hope to see you in my next one. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to click that like button and the notification bell so you can get notification from me anytime I drop a new video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.